Chuck Douglas is the pro's pro. The people that work with Chuck, or that Chuck works with, absolutely love the guy. And I know why. He works with people all the time, showing them how to improve, but he's always got new information because he's upgrading what he knows himself. I read in Barron's Magazine uh, a couple of months ago, they said that 79%, check it out, 79% of Americans get up in the morning and they get up living paycheck to paycheck. paycheck. Isn't that amazing? I don't think they like it, right? I don't think people wake up in the morning and go, woo, great day to be broke, baby. Yeah! Come on! They don't do that. They, they, I saw one guy, they said, well, your prices are pretty high. You know, and I thought the guy was going to, like, beat the crap out of the person. Chum in her. What did you say about my party? <laughs> well, come here. I'm going to lay you out. You don't want that effect, right? And so, how many know somebody from the East Coast that might talk a little bit faster than a person from the South. How I many of you know somebody like that? They talk a little bit faster, right? Mm -hmm. It's true. There's nothing bad or good about it. But many people, I, I do presentations in New York frequently, and, and people want to get it done. Go, get the go, on, get it, right? They're movers, they're shakers. Now, my brother's wife, no offense, my brother's wife is from Birmingham, okay, and she talks a little bit slower. No, no offense, nothing bad or good about it. She turns a one syllable word into four. You know, that's okay. But if you get a person from New York and a person from Alabama on the telephone at the same time, <laughs> well, it, 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 it's not working if they both talk and speak as if they're from where they're from. Somebody's going to get frustrated, true? Somebody's going to say, hey, speed racer, slow down. And the person from New York's gonna go, come on, come on, come on, come on, get down to the point, let's go! Right? But he did that by force of what? What's that bad habit he had, right? His head's shaking, no, it's worth saying yes, he's not congruent. Subconsciously, people will not believe him. You might be walking in here today and going, hey, don't be alarmed. The hotel said we have a very small problem today. <laughs> and don't worry. Your pay raises are going to be huge. <laughs> It'll give you some really high service. Right? Okay? This is key. You know, I always use the example. It's like the guy who fell out of the 50-story building. And every floor on the way down, people heard him saying, so far, so good. <laughs> right? No, it's not good. Chuck Douglas is, oh, oh my goodness, he was incredible. I give him two thumbs up. I remember the very first time I learned about goals was in the fourth grade. We had a teacher in the fourth grade. Her name was Mrs. Kilgore. And Mrs. Kilgore came and she was fresh, fresh out of college. And the first day of class, she said, boys and girls, what we're going to do is we're going to have a homework assignment tonight for your first night. And we were all like, oh, you got to be kidding us. Homework assignment, first night? No way. And she said, here's what it is. She said, you're going to go home tonight, and I want you to write down the goals that you have for your life and put them on paper and turn them back in tomorrow. We're like, goals for our lives? Are you kidding me? We didn't have any idea what we were doing. Fourth grade? Come on, right? She said, and I want you to put them in a little poem. We thought, in a poem? Okay, so we went back that night, wrote a little poems, came back the next day, right? In the class, there was always one person called... Well, actually, it's that person that has to have the apple up on the teacher's desk. What is that person called? Yeah. Teacher's pet. <laughs> teacher's pet, right? This person in this class, his name was Dan. So Dan was the first person to read his little poem. Right? He gets up in front of the room, and he goes, Good morning. My name is Dan. And when I go up, I want to be a man. I think I can. I want to go to Japan and play in a band. My name is Dan. <laughs> <laughs> All the boys and girls went, woo, Dan, man, awesome job, way to go, right? He sat down, teacher looked out at the audience, called on a little girl named Sadie. Sadie got up, kind of shy, says, good morning, my name is Sadie, when I grew up. I'm going to be a lady, have a baby, maybe, my name is Sadie. They're all like, oh, that's so sweet, Sadie, way to go, yeah, right? From the back of the room, the rebel rouser stood up, and he said, 
My name is Stan. S-T-A-N, Stan. When I grow up, I know I'm going to be a man. I, I don't want to go to Japan and play in some stupid band. I would help Sadie over there with her plan. <laughs> Goals are really important. How many stands in the audience today? Any stands? Okay. I've got a couple of stands in the audience. He had our entire team rolling. It was awesome. He was electrifying. His energy was through the roof. My name is Chad Nelson. I'm a regional coordinator with AFLAC. Just had Chuck in, and he did a fantastic job with my staff. person that I've ever met and when you listen to Chuck speak um, his exuberance and passion for what he does is so infectious. Mr. Chuck Thank you. Great to be here tonight. I appreciate the introduction. I got introduced two weeks ago. A guy called me Doug Chuckless. I'm Chuck Douglas, so thank you. Chuck Douglas was out today and he did a phenomenal job and we were excited to have him as one of our dynamic speakers. Because you want to make a difference. You want to positively impact the quality of somebody's life. How do you do that? How do you make really good decisions? The thing I love most about Chuck is the way that he speaks with people. I kept looking for the crowd because he does a lot of crowd interaction. And everybody was involved. I took him and everybody was motivated, moved. People were happy, they were having a good time. Genius is the ability to reduce the very complicated to the very simple. All it takes today is simply one good idea. This is an important time in your life today. These are our ideas. You'll know exactly what success looks like for you. This is Esther Vermillion. I'm a blue diamond with the company. We have had the absolute honor of having Chuck Douglas with us here today. We had a large event for a lot of our teams. He came in and just gave us a power-packed hour. Chuck Douglas was here today. We just had an incredible speaker, Chuck Douglas. We had Chuck Douglas speak to our event this evening, and it was great. Oh my gosh, I'm motivated to the tilt. He is over the top incredible. He came here, and my agents are on fire. If you're interested in really getting a bang-up type of a presentation, go ahead and get Chuck Douglas to speak at your event. You're looking to have a guest speaker to one of your conferences. there. Have Chuck Douglas come and speak to you. Bring in Chuck. Chuck Douglas, he came into our Pete Cadillac studio today and fully revved up my girls. We're and uh, he was amazing. So if you haven't had him yet, you better go ahead and book him before he doesn't have time. So thank you, Chuck. We appreciate you. 